has caught the eye of Real Madrid recently. Doesn't make him unique, but it probably makes him fairly good. Well, there's a tricky customer, Sanchez. I've got Cremona and Mia just sitting in there. He will be on the right flank. Oh, but I tell you what, there wasn't a whole lot of contact there, was there? No, he went down very, very easily. As I think we'll see quite a lot of that today. Unfortunately, the referee's going to have his hands full. The referee is Eddie Maye from the Seychelles. His assistant, on the far side, Mihir Hatani of Tunisia, just intervening. Chance here for Chile. Valdivia, Sanchez, Honduras struggling to scramble it clear. It's all very messy in here. Bit of a scramble, really, but certainly the Chileans look a lot more comfortable to start of this game. is of a Chilean victory here. The world ranking has plenty of distance between the two. Honduras 38, Chile 18. Chile used to play in a much harsher environment. Sanchez. Frustration in the face of Espinosa. Pavon's layoff. The deflected shot. Very comfortable. In the end, it was Nunez. Yeah, he'll just play in behind Pavon, the lone striker. Try and get back into the midfield and help out when he can. Tricky little customer. You do feel he'll spend a lot of time defending today. Looking for Beau de Jour. Tackled by Valladares. Certainly was on. Great execute it properly. Both these countries looking to the World Cup to provide some optimism for those back home. Football, one of the few unifying factors in Honduran life at the moment. It's pretty volatile there following a coup last year. Assisting regime of martial law. Chile, of course, trying to recover from that dreadful earthquake back in February that made more than 500 lives. Vidal. Sanchez. Lovely touch. Certainly by Sanchez, if not by Isla, who received the ball. Well, he started it right back, Isla, and he's had to be asked twice to get forward. Supporting Sanchez, who certainly looks as if he's going to be a handful on that right-hand side. This is a lovely little flick here. Great awareness. Just a poor touch in the end from the fullback. Vidal. Oh, he'll try one, and that was swerving. Certainly moved to fire that as his left-hand side. The only bonus for him is such a long way out. I mean, he sees it coming yeah, from a long way off, but. Doesn't, probably moves about a foot or so, but he, I think he makes a bit of a hash of that. I think it was great. It moved quite late in its flight, didn't it? Vidal again. A wave of acknowledgement and apology for the overhit pass. The man that's transformed Chilean football. Marcelo Bielsa, who took Argentina to the 2002 World Cup without conspicuous success. They failed to emerge from the group stage. Vidal, to the captain, Claudio Bravo.
tries in Nels Crate. Uh, up into the northeast corner of the country, the temperature even at this time of year reaches the mid 70s. Not quite there yet. Always got half moved north and Cliffy to Hans. It's got a little bit better, hasn't it? It's more enjoyable. The one thing I have noticed in the games you and I have been doing, John, is that I don't think it would do any harm to give the pitches a little watering before the game start. It doesn't look too bad today, but we did see in the, the Holland-Denmark game a couple of days ago, the pitch was very sticky. And there hasn't been a great deal of rain in a lot of parts of South Africa. Fernandes, Sanchez, 